Hello there, welcome to this practice and welcome to Yoga with Anya. I look really forward to welcome you to this yoga class today, get together to practice. And the practice is all about trying to discipline our mind. So within the Yoga Sutras, which is like a yogic Bible, it says that our bodies are instruments, but the main focus should always be to find ways to discipline the mind. So today we try to find a way to really allow our postures, our yoga asanas, to work to bring yourself into that state of mind that you would like to be in that could be more present, more at peace, more at calm. And if that all sounded too complicated, it won't be. I just offer you a little bit um, more of that throughout the class, a bit of stillness where you can try to really get grounded and discipline your mind. Um, yeah, don't worry, you will be fine. I look really forward to see you on the mat in just a moment. So we begin this practice in a traditional seat in cross-legged if you can, otherwise choose any other seated postures that suit your body. And if you feel like today you need a bit more energy for this practice, allow your palms to face up as a gesture of receiving. Otherwise, if you feel like you really need more grounding, finding more presence, then already here you can now allow your palms to face down. And then once you're ready, gently close down your eyes. And imagine as you do that, as you close your eyes, that you allow your entire body to gaze inward, your mind to, to come and arrive within yourself. Quite often during our days, we spend a lot of time in external distractions or in the external world. So really take your time now to find your way onto your yoga mat to let go of anything else that is happening in your life currently that has happened during your day thus far so you can settle into this practice. Notice your seated posture and try to find a balance between sitting alert but not tense. See if you can allow your head to rest over your hips. So you might notice if you want to shift the body slightly further forwards or further back. Knees are relaxed. Your palms are soft in any position that you've chosen. And then very slowly start to draw your mind's eye, your focus onto your breathing. And as you inhale and exhale, Notice where you feel the breath in your body. And today I would like you to become aware how much you can actually focus on your breathing. Because quite often our minds have other things to do or they drift off. So notice how much you're present with your breath as you begin this practice. And to join into a breathing practice together, I would like you to now take a nice deep inhale through the nose, breathe it all the way down into your belly. Then gently open your mouth and exhale, cleansing breath. Let's start together. Inhale for three, two, one. Belly is relaxed, breath is dropping. And then exhale for three, two, one release. Again, breathe in for three, two, one. And exhale, soften the shoulders for three, two, one, release. One more together. Inhale for three, two, one. Allow your body to expand, hold it. And then breathe out for three, two, one, release. Now take five more rounds and find your own rhythm. You can shorten that count, you can make it feel longer, but try to keep it as 3-3, three, three, an even breath for today. And already here, see if you can allow that 
physical movement of your breath to discipline the mind, to stay focused. So you can either really listen to the sound or visualize your breath moving in and out of your body. Take a couple more rounds, four breaths. And especially for the last round, notice if you can do it with as little effort as possible, just deepening your breath here. Beautiful work, very, very nice. And then drop into a nice, comfortable breathing rhythm of yours. Try to still keep it nice and deep. And then if you like, keep your eyes closed. So now gently open and blink your eyes open rather. Now from here, we start to move. So start to roll your right shoulder forward, up and down your back. Quite often we do both are the same, but today slightly different. So right shoulder is taking a few full circles here. And notice, especially if you feel a bit tight around that area, the neck, the jaw, which can happen quite often, or if stress is kind of um, collecting there, if you can really allow that to drop as you drop the joint. Very nice. And then change the direction. And imagine you're breathing through it. Really enjoy that first few breaths, which are linked to the movement. Very nice. Let's take one more round on this side. Beautiful work. And then start to roll through your left shoulder. Take it forward, up and down your back. And notice how it feels compared to the other side and try to bring as much movement into the joint as you did on the other side. So you're really drawing big circles. If you have quite a lot of clicking and cracking going on, make sure it's a good, good sound and you don't feel like something is rubbing. Very nice. And then change your direction. Roll the shoulder back up towards the ear and then drop it forward and down. You can exhale through the mouth because quite often you feel, again, if you're holding a bit of um, excess energy up there that you feel it's heating up quite quickly, your body is heating up quite quickly. Very nice, let's do both together. Roll your shoulders forward, up and down your back and you can still have your eyes closed here so you can really feel your way through that movement. Very nice, let's change it, change the direction. A few more breaths here. Beautiful work, and now squeeze your shoulders up toward your ears, flip your palms if they're not already down on the knees. Use them to gently push the knees away. Inhale through the nose, then open your mouth and exhale. <sighs> Cleansing breath, very, very nice. Now change the cross of your legs. Hands are now facing down and then start to make circular movements with your whole upper body. Feel how you can roll over your sits bones and how you're almost drawing circles around your spine. And I know that sounds a bit interesting, but really imagine that you're starting to move and roll through the whole upper body. The shoulders are doing movement here, the rib cage, the hips. Very, very nice. Now let's change the direction. Breathing, moving at the same time. And maybe you can find out how you are aware you're at today. Because some days we really want to do the physical movement to actually get a bit of a different state of mind. Sometimes you feel it's rather just about the movement. So let's see if we can combine those two today. Beautiful work, come all the way back to center. Now drop your left hand down, reach your right arm up and overhead, flip the palm, and for your side stretch, reach the hand up and overhead. Stay really heavy in your hips, reach into your fingertips, and face your head into any direction that feels comfortable for the neck. Take another moment here to stretch, to reach, and then come back through center, drop the right hand down, left arm is coming up and overhead. Again, still heavy in the hips, relaxed in the knees. Choose where you want to gaze at. Active hands, so open your palm nice and wide. 
Now let's bring that together with a breath. Inhale through center. Exhale, side body stretch. Every time you wheel the hands back, you inhale and exhale. Couple more breaths. Breathing and back through center. Let's take one more together. Inhale. Nice long exhale to stretch right side body. Inhale back through center and stretch through the left side. Very, very nice. Now bring your fingertips out in front of you. And if you feel like you have enough space, so sometimes cross-legged can look like this and you might stay there. If your hips are a little bit more open, you can try to bring your heels in front of one another so you have a bit of a wider seat. Fingertips reach forward and then with a bit of a rocking motion, start to crawl your hands all the way towards um, the front of your mat. So lengthen your fingertips forward. Try to bring your arms into a nice long position, but shoulders stay down away from the ears. And then after you've taken a moment where you feel like this is where you want to get to in your forward fold, stay there. Take an in-breath. Imagine you lift your body slightly off the ground. And as you exhale, bow your upper body towards the earth. Doesn't matter how far you're going down. It's just about forward folding. So you can also drop the head Chin towards the chest here. Keep rooting into your sits bones. So actively press your hips down. And for another couple of breaths, imagine you breathe into the area of your back. So notice if you can feel the skin of your back stretching on the in-breath. Softening on the out-breath. Very, very nice. After your next exhalation, start to crawl your fingertips all the way back towards you. Now let's move into tabletop. So roll onto your hands and knees. Untuck your toes. Bring your knees underneath your hips, palms spreading wide underneath your shoulders. Keep a little bit of a bend in your elbows so the bony bits of your elbows are pointing out, ensuring you're not hyperextending. And now start to sway your hips towards the right side. And while you do that, really ground your toes towards the mat. And imagine you want to come into like a side sit. I don't think you get there, but it's the idea of rocking the hips to the right, then back to center and towards the left. Next time you come back to center and rock the hips to the right. Send your gaze past your left shoulder. So create a C shape and look towards your, maybe even the right foot. As you inhale, come back to center. Exhale, look over your right shoulder. Do that a couple more times with your own breath. Keep clawing your fingertips down towards the earth. Very nice, one more round. It's quite nice this one to stretch the glutes, the side of your hip here. Beautiful work and then return back to your tabletop for cat and cow, drop the belly down, lift your chest and your gaze forward, inhale, exhale, round your back, lift the shoulder blades towards the skies. Inhale, four more rounds, roll through the shoulders, open the heart. And exhale, reverse order. Bring your ears a bit more to the shoulders. Really round, round, round. Three more rounds. Use your breath. And any time today you feel like your um, mind is slipping off somewhere else, so you're losing the focus on your practice, you might close your eyes to really help that focus to stay inward, to stay present. Beautiful work, very nice. Come back to tabletop and now for our warm up flow, drop the belly down again for a cow pose. So this is how we start. Exhale for child's pose. So rock your hips back towards your heels and stretch your arms as far forward as you can. Soften the forehead to the earth. Now claw your fingertips down, lift the forehead for downward facing dog. Try to keep your arms long, your hips back and start to lift into your downward facing dog, stretching through the back of your legs. 
Now inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, drop the knees. Keep your hands where they are, drop the belly. Lift your chest and your gaze. Exhale, untuck the toes. Balasana, child's pose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the heels, drop the knees down. Breathe in, belly softens, heart opens. Exhale, child's pose. Last one, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Very, very nice. And then take a moment to stay in your downward facing dog. Feet hip width, hands a bit more than shoulder width apart. Bend your knees so you can lengthen out through the lower back a little bit more. And then start to bring any movement into your downward facing dog that feels nice and nourishing here. You can bend one knee and then the other. You can rock the hips side to side. Beautiful work. Now make sure there is enough space behind you. Ground your left foot and extend your right leg up towards the ceiling. Head is relaxed, look forward. Step the right foot to the right hand for a lizard lunge. Both hands are at the inside of your right foot. You can also use blocks here. And then for your lizard lunge with your back knee lifted, just allow the right knee to move forward, your left knee to lengthen backwards, or your left heel rather. Keep opening up the chest, the heart forward. Deep breath here. Very nice, and then ground your right hand next to your right foot. And inhale for a nice open position. Bring your left arm up towards the skies. Try to gently press your knee, or your inner leg rather, towards the right upper arm, creating a bit of resistance. Inhale here. And exhale to release. Downward facing dog, ground the palms, swing the right foot back to meet the left. Very nice, for the other side. Right foot stays, left leg extends. Push the heel away, now look forward. Step the left foot through to the outer edge of your mat. Keep both hands at the inside so your hips feel really nice and open. Front knee over the front ankle. Feel length that you're creating in the inner thighs here. Soften through the hip joint. Ground your feet, so gently push your feet down and then stay there with your left hand. Open the right arm out and up. And see if you can really posture by posture, especially as we move into more of a flowy sequence. If you really can stay present here, reach and lengthen into your right fingertips. Beautiful work. And then for downward facing dog, ground the palms and swing the left leg back to meet the right. Very nice. Now lift your heels off the mat, look forward and with nice small steps, Walk your body towards the top of your mat. Uttanasana, you're standing forward fold. Allow your head to be heavy. Your neck to be relaxed. And then sway the body left to right. And do the same here with your hips like you did before. So imagine hips moving to the left side of your mat, then right side. And your spine, your back is just decompressing here. Very nice. Now to come up to standing, slowly roll up through the spine. You can always support your back with the hands on the legs. And then as you come up to standing, relax and release your arms. So, coming into our sun salutations for today's practice. So come to stand at the top of your mat, open your palms forward, soften the shoulders and again just take a moment to really arrive here with the mind as well as with the body. Now let's begin to flow. Inhale, reach your hands forward and our palms meet at the top. Exhale, soften and fold. Inhale, lift the body halfway to lengthen. Exhale, release the hands down and step it back into plank. 
Both feet come back and then you can choose to keep the knees lifted or drop the knees down. As you inhale, shift forward. Now for everyone, wherever you are, either in high or low lunge, hold it for a moment. Stay present, feel your strength. And then exhale, start to lower all the way down. Breathing in for Cobra. And then exhale, push back through tabletop, all the way up into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels, look forward, step, walk or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees, arms move around and up if you do have space. And then draw your hands down through the heart, back into mountain pose. Let's inhale again. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Release the hands. Maybe step the, step the other leg back first. High or low plank. Inhale, shift forward. Hold it for a moment. Feel your strength. Feel this presence. And then start to lower all the way down. You can do halfway as well for Chaturanga if that's in your practice. And then push back through center. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels, look forward, walk, hop or step to the top of your mat. Reach the spine halfway. Exhale. Bend your knees, wave your arms around the body and up come to standing mountain pose. Hands through the heart, Tadasana. One more round, inhale, find length. Exhale, soften and bow. Inhale, lift the body halfway and exhale, release. You can hop, you can step back into plank. Shift the body forward, hold it for a moment, tuck your tailbone under, engage the core and then lower all the way down or halfway. Inhale, you can also skip cobra, just doing a push up and exhale, downward facing dog. Very nice. Let's break this up with a moment in child's pose. Bring your knees down to mat width apart. Big toes together. You can make fists as a pillow for your head or you can simply reach the hands forward and take a moment to release. And as you come into your relaxation posture, just see if you can really surrender here for a moment. Maybe noticing how your body, the state of mind is changing throughout your practice. Beautiful work with your next inhalation. Lift yourself back through tabletop and then all the way up into downward facing dog. Now from here again, lift the heels, walk, step, or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale like we did before, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Coming up to standing, nice long back. And exhale to release. Very nice. So let's start with our standing sequence. I would like you to shift your weight into the right foot. And already here, try to stay really focused on what you're doing step by step rather than the sequence. So right foot stays, left foot comes back. High lunge, feet are hip width apart and then draw your arms up and overhead. Thumbs are reaching back, front knee over the front ankle and gently push through all 10 toes down towards the earth. As you inhale, stay here. Now, as you exhale, lean the body forward halfway. Airplane arms. Arms are still framing your head. And if you feel this is too much strength, you can take your hands onto the front leg, using the core a little bit less, but still working on grounding through the feet. In either options with your arms forward or hands on the knees. Take a moment to breathe. 
Now as you inhale, come back into high lunge and exhale for warrior two, drop the back heel down. You might slightly need to adjust the foot and then bend into your front leg. In warrior two, we try to keep the front heel in line with the middle of the back foot and arms parallel to the earth. Try to find something in your room that you can focus on, where you can be really present, where your mind is just in that one single spot. Take another breath here. Inhale and exhale. Very nice. And now for your vinyasa, your flow, slowly roll your hands forward and down. Step it back into your plank, lower high plank. Take a round of vinyasa like we did before. And if you want to skip that, you can always come straight up into downward facing dog. Now let's move on to the other side. So take the left foot, step the left foot to the left hand. High lunge. Once you've found your stance, Rise up, arms parallel to the ears. In this lunge, feel how your front body is opening, your heart, your chin is slightly moving away from the chest. You're here, you're present, you're training your mind as well as your body. And then for airplane arms, Body comes forward halfway. Imagine your upper body being an extension of your back leg. For a bit less core, take your hands onto the front knee and breathe. Follow your inhales, your exhalations. With your next inhale, stay. And then for warrior two, exhale, come through high lunge and then ground your back foot down, have a little bit of adjustment and then start to bend into your front knee. Imagine here your hips are opening, left hip forward, right hip back. Arms are nice and long, gaze is steady. Beautiful work and then either for a round of flow or downward facing dog, wheel your hands down, step back into your plank, shift the body forward, hold it for a moment and then lower all the way down or again a push up could be if you'd rather not do um, chest expansions and then feel the way back, let from the hips into downward facing dog. Now this time walk your hands towards your feet. Bring your body towards the back end of your mat and widen your feet mat width apart. Again, here sway the body side to side. Allow head and neck to be quite loose. And then to roll up to standing, bend your knees. And nice and slowly roll up through the spine. And now for this next for these next few postures. If you have a block at home, you could use one, you don't have to. Showing you both variations. So come into a wide-legged stance on your mat. The insides of your feet are parallel. Now, as you inhale, open your arms for warrior two arms. As you exhale, we're gonna fold over the left leg. So you could take a block over or without the block start to twist and turn your body towards the center and then imagine folding your body over that left leg so you could have the hands on the leg as well draw the body down with a block starting to turn the right shoulder down left shoulder up notice where the weight is in your feet and try to shift it a little bit further forward so you're not leaning the weight into your heels for the other side, maybe take the block with you, inhale back through center and exhale, fold over that right leg. So this is a wide legged forward fold with a twist. Imagine you draw your chest almost towards that shin or the nose towards the shin, chest towards the upper thigh. Now we're gonna mix it up slightly. You come back through center, inhale, over to the other side. But this time, either right hand on the leg or on the block, and then for your twist, 
Inhale, reach the left arm out and up. Allow to feel the belly opening, to breathe the chest opening. For the other side, inhale, come back through center. Exhale, to the right foot. Left, right arm is reaching up and overhead. Left hand down for your twist. Very nice. And then for your forward fold, start to crawl your hands all the way towards the front of your mat. Or it's probably one of the sides of your mat, but away from you. Again, the weight shifts into the middle of your feet. Come back to that slow, steady breath. Inhale for three, exhale for three. Create a lift through the sits bones. Imagine your hips lifting towards the ceiling. Very, very nice. And then slowly bring your body back through center. Feet come in slightly closer, hands onto the thighs, and then lift all the way up to your start. Or start. <laughs> very good. Now here, tie your feet in together for a Malasana Yogi squat. They're a bit more than hip width apart, toes are pointing out, heels in. Now, if you have problems with your knees, you might want to squat down and hold it here. If you can, if that's comfortable, you might sit down onto the earth or onto a block underneath your sits, sit bones. And then in either variation, try to open up through the knees so you could draw your hands into prayer. Lengthen up through the spine and close your eyes. And imagine you're letting go of any other postures that you've done that are still yet to come. And you're simply focusing on this very moment. Feel your hips opening, your breath slowing down. Very, very nice, beautiful work. And then from wherever you are, open your eyes and then come to sit down on your yoga mat. So take a seat and for Baddha Konasana, butterfly, bring the soles of your feet together, wrap your palms around your legs and again, slightly rock, like in the beginning, left to right. So you can really feel the sit bones grounding. Then come back to center. Knees are opening, chest is lifting. And then as you breathe out, start to draw your chest forward. You can fold as far as you can go. Keep your arms more or less relaxed here so you're not tensing up through the shoulders. Remember, it's not how far you're going, it's about how well you're breathing. And try to send your breath back into your um, lower back, middle back and upper back here. So you feel that skin of your back stretching and expanding. Couple more nice slow breaths. Beautiful work and then slowly roll yourself back up. Take your knees in together and then for a straight legged forward fold, bring your feet about hip width apart, shift that fleshy part away from underneath your seat, flex the toes, knees can be bent or straight, inhale, lengthen the body and then as you exhale, lead the way from your chest and for your forward fold, you could hold your feet or you can simply relax your arms down. With every inhalation, feel your back slightly lifting. And every out breath, imagine your shoulders and your whole body, your whole upper body softening. Come 
couple more breaths here. Very, very nice. And then the same as before, slowly start to roll your body back and up. And then take your time to come and lie down on your yoga mat. Draw your knees in and up towards the chest and find a gentle sway from side to side. Mass out your lower back here. Send it some love. Create a little bit of a circular movement now. So you're rolling over the whole area of the sacrum. Again, changing direction. Very nice. And as you come back to center, make sure your chin is tucked in towards the chest. Straighten your legs up towards the skies for a moment. And already for Shavasana, bring your arms away from the body with your hands facing up. Allow your feet to rest over the hips here. And just allow your body to slow down now. Allow the blood to rush back to the heart. Closing the eyes or softening the gaze if that's more comfortable. Very, very nice. And then slowly drop your feet down. You could stay here if this is more comfortable for your back or if you'd like to extend your arms down, feet a bit more than hip width apart, feet flopping out, arms nicely away from the body. Do any movements, any last wiggles you need to to get fully comfortable. And then allow yourself to let go of this practice. Allow yourself to let go of the physical work you've done. And Shavasana is said to be the time of rest and also where your body takes in all the goodness of the practice. Anything you need from your practice today. So for these next few moments, see if you can relax the space around your eyes, your eyebrows. Imagine by doing that, you're softening your thoughts and the mind. And enjoy simply being in the right here, right now.
and then to slowly seal off our practice together. Take your time to roll onto any side you feel drawn to and then roll up into a comfortable seat. Allow your palms to rest anywhere where you like to show yourself some gratitude or to have that ritual of sealing off your practice. Gently bow your head down and just notice how you feel now compared to when you first sat down on your mat. And I hope this practice was nourishing for you and allowed yourself to drop into that state of mind that you wished for. Thank you so much from my heart to yours, from my home to yours. Namaste. Mm -hmm.